I, I, I've said this before. I, I, I uh, pe people would ask me, knowing what you know now, do you wish like you had a sec, a, a third term? Um, and I, I used to say, you know what? If, if I could make an arrangement where um, I had a, I had a, a stand-in, a front man or front woman, and, and they had an earpiece in, and I was just in my basement in my sweats, mm -hmm. looking through the stuff, and then I could sort of deliver the lines, but somebody else was uh, doing all the talking and ceremony. Wow. I, I'd be fine with that. All right, everyone, I think you're gonna find this interesting. It's for uh, Sunday, May the 1st, 2016, the time, 9.19 a.m. This is uh, a clip from the 2016 White House Correspondents' Dinner where Barack uh, Hussein Obama, who many believe to be the uh, biblical Antichrist, was doing a whole comedy routine and it got to Obamacare and uh, I think you're gonna find this very interesting. Is this some uh, type of uh, disclosure on who this man really is? Why did they choose to have Barack Obama transform into what appears to be a demon? And uh, let me play this for you right now. So, the show went to fall. Yeah. Huh. Now, I want, you to, I want you to watch very carefully. Michelle Obama in hot water after posting this video earlier today. Obamacare is great. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at that. Look at the transformation. <laughs> and I know it's just supposed to be a comedy routine, but are they disclosing something here to the world? And is Barack Obama the Antichrist? Let's watch again. I wish you liked better these. Let me skip ahead. Just a little bit. It's hard to find the exact uh, spot. Well, since you don't have a driver's license, you're going to need a birth certificate. Really? Really. This is just a comedy parody on his uh, birth certificate, so it's kind of to show you also, we don't really know who this man is. It's real. Is it? It's real. But is it? Here we go. Now watch, watch carefully. If you, I'll put the link to this below, and it begins at the 32 minute mark and 40 seconds. 32 minutes, 40 second mark. Huh? She's got Snapchat. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. Sign up now. Breaking news: Michelle Obama in hot water after posting this video earlier today. Obamacare is great. Really One more time, then I want you to just leave me your comments below. Thanks. Well, since you don't have a driver's license, you're going to need a birth certificate. Really? Really? It's real. Is it? It's real. But is it? No. Michelle went to home. Huh. She's got Snapchat. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. Now that's him doing Snapchat into his phone, kind of like FaceTime, I guess. So that's supposed to be his actual face. Sign up now. Breaking news. Michelle Obama in hot water after posting this video earlier today. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. 
Our big story, the battle over President Obama's birth certificate. For the first time, Hawaii is responding to MCSO's new proof it was forged. ABC 15's Christopher Sign is live to lay out the evidence in question. And Chris, serious allegations here. Is the sheriff's office really saying the president himself was involved? Well, they're not going that far, Katie, saying they don't really know who was behind this alleged act, but the sheriff and his investigators made it very clear today that they believe President Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. As we suspect, it is a fraudulent document. We believe the document has been tampered with, so much so that the only way to get it to do what it does is with blatant human intervention. Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his cold case posse investigator Mike Zulo claim their evidence starts with the numbers you see at the top right. This has plagued people for a long time to get to the answer of this number. Zulo claims that batch number is chronologically inconsistent compared to others born around the same time. And another set of numbers involving his father's race and employment are not properly marked. It's time for this charade to stop. You couldn't bring it into a courtroom and convince a judge that it's authentic. But it doesn't end there for this investigation. Listen to this allegation involving Obama's childhood. As a matter of fact, we're getting information now that a lot of the photographs that we've been seeing have been digitally altered. And something to keep in mind in all of this, the Sheriff's Office investigation thus far has really been based on a PDF file, basically a computer image of the birth certificate, whereas the actual document, the physical document itself, is on a microfilm in Hawaii. Yeah, and there are a lot of experts that say you can't really do anything or say anything unless you have that document. Of course, our right. file is now asking Congress to take up. Mr. President, you're an American-born Christian, mm -hmm. and yet increasing and now significant numbers of Americans in polls, upwards of a fifth of respondents, are claiming you are neither. A fifth of the people, just about, uh, believe you're a Muslim. Keep this, in mind those two things, uh, American-born and Muslim are not the same, so. but. But I understand your point. Either or the latter, right. and the most recent number is the latter. This has to be troubling to you. This is, of course, all new territory for an American president. Well, look, uh, the, uh, the facts are the facts, right? And so we went through some of this during the campaign. Um, you know, there is uh, a mechanism, a, a network of misinformation that in a new media era can get churned out there constantly. Um, we dealt with this when I was first running for the U.S. Senate. We dealt with it when we were first running for the presidency. There were those who said I couldn't win as U.S. Senator because I had a funny name. And yet we ended up winning uh, that Senate uh, seat in Illinois because I trusted in the American people's capacity to get beyond all this nonsense. And so I will always put my money on the American people. Uh, and I'm not going to be uh, worrying too much about uh, whatever uh, you know, rumors are floating on uh, out there. If I spend all my time chasing after that, uh, then uh, I wouldn't get much done. You are absolutely right that John McCain has not uh, talked about my Muslim faith, and you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come faith. Uh, my, my Christian faith. visit my website at samstwitch.com. My Twitter profile is at samstwitch underscore sam. My YouTube channel is at youtube.com backslash samstwitch. I post videos that I cannot post on YouTube on my BitChute channel at bitshoot.com backslash samstwitch.